Hello, sir, Internet. Unga King Pangalan, oi, Philip DeFranco. It's Thursday, March 4th, 2010, and today, you know what, I really like starting off with viewer questions. And today's is from Jeffrey Boom Boom, who says, would you go gay for anyone? Well, Geoffrey, I don't know. I mean, I feel like being a, a straight male, I feel like the gay stuff, it's like, does not compute. You know, because I'm for the gays, but I'm not for the gays. Scout's honor. I think it's silly to think that anyone can just, like, go gay for whatever reason, because I, I no, I think it's, it's a silly question. Um, it's a very stupid question. It's a childish question. Patrick Dempsey. This is a new show. They're playing the footage everywhere. Ooh, those gays causing trouble. But actually, on the topic of gays, arts and crafts time! No, not really. But one of my favorite subjects, politicians who have pro-family slash gay-hating agendas turning out to be huge homosexuals. And it seems like the next one on the chopping block is California State Senator Roy Ashburn. Now, the reason for this is Wednesday at 2 a.m., Roy was stopped by police officers because he was swerving all over the place and he was driving drunk, which is pretty bad on its own. And Roy, being an upstanding gentleman like he is, he issued an apology. But now it could even be worse for him because sources are saying that he was drunk because he left a gay club at like 1.30 with an unidentified male. Which wouldn't be a big deal, it'd just be gay love. Two rainbows passing in the distance. But when you're a Republican senator with an anti-gay agenda, it's kind of funny. As of yet, I don't believe the senator has released a statement regarding the accusations that he is fierce and fabulous. But a quick word to politicians out there. If you are going to be a Republican, anti-gay, and in fact be gay at the same time, stop it. Just be honest. Or order underage Asian boys to your hotel room like a normal politician. I know, you think it's wrong of me to say that. You're thinking, Phil, if politicians politicians are sleeping with young Asian boys, who are gonna make my shoes? Priorities, Phil. Touché, internet. But I always love stories like this, because it makes me think of the multiverse. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the theory and speculation of the multiverse, let me dumb it down for you. Imagine, if you will, there are multiple existences, where everything and anything has happened. For example, in another existence, it could start out small, like maybe Ashburn never got pulled over. It's a tiny little different thing. It can go all the way to the highly unlikely of me, you, Katy Perry had a threesome, but we did that to stop a thermonuclear war. Because with the multiverse, everything that can happen will happen in the multiverse an infinite number of times. For those of you that would jump to the conclusion that this is an impossibility, it makes no sense. For that, I would say, how likely is it that we are? That there was a beginning of this existence, whether you consider it God or the Big Bang, where essentially something came from nothing. An existence defined under the rule that zero equals one. Or if we believe that something has always existed, that one times one equals infinity. And obviously, we have no answers now. It's just interesting because this theory of the multiverse is gaining a lot of ground and a lot of backing. And now moving on to guy stuff. Brought to you by our newest sponsor, Sarah, who brought me the sandwich today, whose hobbies apparently include twit picking the food that she's eating and twit picking more food that she's eating. An update on American Apparel's search for the best ass ever contest. Where girls would take pictures of their ass in American Apparel gear and post it on the internet. They have their top three and I gotta tip my hat to them. Plus that's the best contest idea ever. And then of course there's Lindsay Lohan who is struggling to remain relevant in the public eye and she's in another photo shoot where she is taking her panties off. So obviously I can't include those pictures in this or those ass shots. So if you expand the video description, you can check out those galleries, today's stories, and even today's vloggity. All the links are there. And I apologize in advance to American Apparel if your site crashes. Because let's be honest, everyone loves a little booty. And of course, my favorite part of the show, question of the day. I really enjoyed your answers yesterday to the question, if you could have a list of five people that you could sleep with, whether you're in a relationship now or in the future, without anything bad happening, who would they be? There were a lot of funny ones. But I noticed that 80% of the list included my name. And that's why I'd like to announce that I'm going on a world tour. No, not really. But thank you for the sympathy spot on the list. Your Thursday question of the day is, if the multiverse were real, which existence would be your best existence? Essentially, where would you be? What would you be doing? What would be involved in your best world ever? But guys, that's everything that mattered to me this Thursday. Of course, we are back to four days a week, so if you missed the shows this week, click on those annotations above. They let you go backwards and forwards through time. Or my videos. But guys, I hope you have an awesome weekend. And of course, my name is Philip DeFranco, and you've been filled in. I'll see you next Monday. Thank <laughs> you.